Well, it's time now for Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment, for which I'm joined by Catalina Marchandia Bro. Now, today, uh, Catalina, Zara uh, is facing worldwide calls for a boycott after an offensive campaign uh, against Palestinians. Now, there are some uh, concrete signs of this boycott going around. Just tell us a bit more about it. Fashion giant Zara withdrew and apologized for its latest ad campaign that's drawn a backlash over an alleged exploitation of the Gaza conflict. An ad that, as they say, was photographed in September before the conflict erupted between Israel and Gaza, according to the statement made by Zara on Instagram. Uh, this ad notably features statues as we see that are wrapped in uh, white that resemble those photos that we see coming out, uh, photos of corpses in Gaza. Uh, we also see some uh, statues that resemble what seem to be uh, missing limbs surrounded by dust and rubble. Uh, the campaign also includes elements uh, like this uh, cardboard cutout uh, that also seems to be a, an upside down map of Palestine. Evidently, conclusions were quickly drawn as this campaign was deemed extremely offensive to Palestinians in the war hit Gaza Strip. Uh, boycott Zara started trending all over social media, including uh, this video that started circling that shows this apparent boycott in action, uh, where users uh, claim after Zara made an insulting advertisement about the Gaza war, uh, these are Americans throwing away all their Zara clothes in front of the company. So uh, let's take a look at this uh, video uh, where we see hundreds and thousands of garments uh, being discarded on the streets of what seems to be uh, New York's uh, Times Square in protest against Zara. Zara's newest campaign resembling the destruction in Gaza. Okay, and what does that video actually show then, uh, Katarina, if it's not what it appears to be? Well, claim, uh, well, Tama, this uh, claim is uh, misleading and has nothing to do uh, with the current boycott against Zara. It seems to be a different boycott against uh, the brand led by one of the best-known luxury resale sites called uh, Vestiaire Collective. Here's the original post on their Instagram page from November 16th, uh, where uh, they announced uh, that they are banning a number of fast fashion brands uh, from its platform, including uh, Zara, or as you can see in the video in this photo, uh, there's Uniqlo, Gap, uh, Mango is also included amongst 30 other uh, brands. Uh, however, even though this video is unrelated to this recent incident, uh, this doesn't mean that there hasn't uh, been a real boycotts of the brand out there, uh, as there have been wide protests as have many Zara stores by pro-Palestinian activists here we have many to show you. Here's one uh, video by Al Jazeera Egypt uh, that shows protesters who threw a red paint on the front store of this uh, Zara store in uh, Tunis. Uh, a Glasgow store apparently shut down by Palestinian protesters. Uh, and here's a uh, one uh, Zara storefront in uh, Canada that was vandalized with red paint uh, that says uh, Free Palestine. And here one more. Uh, Pro-Palestinian protests that, according to Al Jazeera, took place in Hanover, Germany, as protesters stormed into this uh, Zara store holding these uh, corpse bags as featured in uh, the Zara ad campaign. Overall, a worldwide uh, backlash seen in the Zara stores all around the globe. So. OK, and it's not the first time, is it, that uh, Zara has been uh, embroiled in this type of controversy? Indeed, this is not the first uh, time Zara has uh, faced backlash from pro-Palestinian activists. Uh, back in 2022, activists called for another uh, Zara boycott after the franchise owner of Zara Israel Stores uh, hosted a campaign event in his home for far-right politician Ben Gavir. Uh, then back in 2021, yet another controversy as their top designer, who happened uh, to be from Israel, sent a Palestinian model on Instagram inflammatory messages about or against Palestine. Uh, so one controversy per year, it, it seems, but they're not alone uh, since uh, Marks and Spencer also faced backlash recently back in uh, November uh, after it unveiled its latest Christmas advertisement showing a uh, burning uh, paper hats with the colors of the Palestinian flag. So some, uh, maybe we could call it unfortunate coincidences, a sign to retailers all over though that uh, to uh, be careful with their advertisements in such delicate times. Tom. Mm, indeed. Well, thank you very much indeed. Catalina Marchand, dear bro, thanks for today's edition of Truth or Fake. I'm next here on France 24. It's Middle East Matters. Stay tuned for that.